We have already set up the HP 50G in another video. The HP 50G and the HP 49G Plus are the same machine from the point of user. Same keys, same functionality. The difference, different colors. Is it a computer or a calculator, you ask? Well, your HP 50G is a handheld computer that's been marketed as a calculator. You can even program that in C if you want to. In what follows, however, I will refer to it simply as the calculator or the HP. RPN versus ALG. From the factory, the HP 50G comes in ALG mode, algebraic mode. Why is that? Hmm. Well, in that mode, it's more like a high school calculator, so it's possible that they thought that it would be easier to sell it that way. Perhaps, perhaps not. That is not important. What is important is that the full power of the HP 50G becomes accessible, in my opinion, only in the other mode. What mode is that? RPM mode. RPM? No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not RPM. RPN mode. Oh, why RPN? Well, you know, because the theoretical basis that computers use to compute numerical expressions was invented by a Polish mathematician, Dr. Lukasiewicz. Oh, that is why it's Polish, yeah. He invented the Polish notation. But computers use a reversed form of it, so that's why we call that the reverse Polish notation, RPN. Oh, I see. Okay. Now RPN. RPN and the stack is called this presentation. Why? The stack. Because in RPN, Everything has to do with the stack. And I mean everything. Everything has to do with the stack. What stack? Hey, not a stack of books. No, 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 no. But it's the stack. It's a stack of what then? It's a stack of numbers for now. It will be a stack of many other things later. Oh, I better show you. Look at this. You see? There is the stack of numbers in your calculator with a 4 at the bottom, then a 6 in level 2, and in level 3, an 8, and in level 4, a 1, etc. That is the stack of your calculator in RPN mode. Hmm. The stack of numbers, the levels of the stack, level 1 at the bottom. Yes, that's right. But um, how do I enter those numbers in the stack? Easy. You type them and then you push the enter key. Uh, what enter key? This enter key. Uh, which one? This enter key over here. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. I type a number, then I push the enter key. The new number goes where in the stack? At the bottom. The new number goes to level 1 and it pushes up all the numbers already present in the stack. Ah... Okay, but now that I have the numbers in the stack, what do I do with them? Oh, you can do anything. Anything. Yes, anything. Uh, how about uh, reorganizing them? Uh, can I reorder the numbers in the stack? You bet you can. How? Mm, well, in many different ways. I better show you. Let's begin with swap, an operation that will that will swap the two numbers at the bottom of the stack in levels 1 and 2, we'll swap them around. But I better show you. 